Welcome to the weekly news update here on Crypto TV Plus. It is the 7th of February 2023. I'm Nikki Roshini and these are the headlines. Convexity joins UNICEF Venture Funds community. Why Crips represents Nigeria at Leap 23 event Saudi Arabia. Binance to temporarily halt dollar transactions. Hong Kong securities regulator adds crypto personnel for industry supervision. Genesis creditors to expect 80% recovery funds. Cedral Finance raises $1.5 million to build liquidity platform. Events packed for the month of February and more to come. Now on the market rates today, Bitcoin is at $23,000. Ethereum is at $1,600. BNB is at $329. Solana is at $23. And the total scenario rates at 741. Now let's get you updated on the Crypto Weekly News. We begin with some exciting news as Convexity Technologies announced that it has officially joined the UNICEF Venture Funds community of problem solvers through its flagship solution CHATS, which is an acronym for Convexity Humanitarian AIDS Transfer Solution. CHATS is an ecosystem of blockchain-based applications pushing the boundaries of openness and transparency across cash and voucher assistance CVA programs. Chats is built to improve financial inclusion for social impact, boost donors' confidence, create a gateway for improved and sustainable funding coming into Africa. To announce this, the co-founder of Convexity, Adedeji Owunubi, said this. The greatest impact we can have on the world is to empower the next generation. Our solution will help get our solution will help get donor funds transparently to the vulnerable children. Hence, it will facilitate their growth through the need access to education, healthcare, and other vital resources to improve their well-being. Next up, running from the 6th to the 9th of February 2023 in Riyadh, Leap 23 boosts an exhibitor and convention lineup of transformational talent, a product showcase of advanced and generative technology potential, and a celebrity cast of billionaire entrepreneurs, business magnates, sporting heroes, and musical icons turned futurists and financiers. Together, more than 720 speakers from some 50 countries will explore ideas that will change lives, alter work patterns, and unlock unrealized and as yet unimagined economic potential across 11 conference streams. From Aramco to Zoom via MasterCard and Snap Inc., a wide range of world tech leaders will exhibit, explore, discuss, and debate during four-day Riyadh show. Ogochuku Aronu, chief executive of YCrypt, and his CTO Chidelu were the latest confirmed attendees, joining high profile list as they represent Nigeria at the Leap 23 event. This was confirmed via a Twitter post made by YCrypt earlier. Also, Binance has announced that it is temporarily suspending bank transfers in United States dollars USD beginning from the 8th of February. No other trading methods will be affected the exchange said in a tweet on the 6th of February. We are working hard to restart the service as soon as possible. All other methods of buying and selling crypto remain unaffected. Binance CEO Chengpeng Zhao, CZ, said this in a separate tweet. It is worth noting that USD bank transfers are leveraged by only 0.01% of our monthly active users. However, we appreciate that this is still a bad user experience. The suspension apparently applies only to international Binance users as Binance US tweeted that our customers will not be affected. Moving on, Genesis Creditor has revealed that new proposed restructuring plan between Genesis Digital Currency Group and creditors will see creditors getting back at least 80% of their funds. On the 6th of February, Genesis Global announced it reached an agreement in principle with Digital Currency Group DCG and its creditors, which will eventually see its crypto trading and market making arm sold as part of the restructuring efforts. DCG will contribute its share of equity in Genesis Global Trading, Genesis Brokerage subsidiary business to Genesis Global Hold Co., the holding entity for Genesis. The terms of the agreement will see DCG exchanging an existing $1.1 billion promissory note due in 2032 for convertible preferred stock. 
It would also refinance its existing 2023 term loans with an aggregate value of $526 million and make them payable to creditors. Also, regulators in Hong Kong are stepping up their game when it comes to monitoring the activities of the crypto industry. According to a Securities and Futures Commission report filed on the 6th of February, it plans to hire four additional staff to better supervise the activities of the local virtual assets VA providers. Moreover, the extra oversight will help better assess the compliance and risk by allowing retail investors to trade virtual assets on regulated platforms. The Commission wrote this. This is in response to an increasing number of operators who have expressed interest in carrying on VA activities such as trading platforms and the management of VA funds. To close up the news today, Cedro Finance is delighted to announce that they have raised $1.5 million in a pre-seed fundraising round led by Shimmer Capital. Cedro is an omni-chain liquidity platform that lets users lend and borrow across chains seamlessly. The funds will be used to grow the team and scale development of Cedro's platform. We're thrilled to be leading the pre-seed round for Cedro Finance. We believe Cedro is poised to become the primary liquidity layer that sits on top of multiple networks for unifying liquidity across diverse DeFi protocols. That was according to Shima Capital founder and managing general partner Yidad Gao. And that's it for the weekly news updates here on Crypto TV Plus. For more market updates and all the happenings captured in the world of blockchain and cryptocurrency, do visit our website CryptoTVPlus.com. Also follow us on our social media platforms, Facebook and Twitter at Crypto TV Plus, and on Instagram at Official Crypto TV Plus to get daily info on our programs. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the notification button as well. And just in case you have questions regarding any of our news at all, join me in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. I'm Nikki Roshini. I'll see you next time.